what's up guys it's your girl Brent. welcome back to my channel so today we have a spiral set curl spiral curl set whatever uh tutorial um we're gonna start off by using shea moisture shampoo and conditioner that i've got from uh the dollar store you can get the shampoo and conditioner from the dollar store if you are new here, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to that channel. I just had to say that. <clears throat> oh, and it is the Curl and Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. And, uh, yeah. We will also be using the Mask and a Conditioner by Shea Moisture, which I've also, you know, bought from the dollar store. So, I went on ahead and washed and my hair and now we're just gonna move forward to using the mask and the conditioner um i applied the mask along with the conditioner uh and just let both of those set and then i'll set up under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes and yeah it was a horrible experience i mean who likes to dryer you know but anyway right here all i'm doing is just putting put, putting my hair into fours to four parts and i'm just gonna play um put two plates in the front and two plates in the back to prep myself for getting under the dryer um i guess i would call it a shower cap or whatever we call it it wasn't just like it didn't you know my hair was too big or something it just didn't hold my hair how i wanted it to so that's why i decided to plait it and then put it up so yeah that's what we doing right here y'all enjoy my instrumental i forgot to mention guys that uh we're also using the curl enhancing uh smoothie or whatever smooth something by shea moisture anyway i just put all the um you know the products in the description below guys all i'm doing is removing the shower cap um after sitting from under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes and just removing my plaits just taking my plaits loose that was on that was that i had my hair in whatever however you say you understand and i'm just playing in my hair for a minute yes i do have color in my head and yes i colored my own hair uh yeah so now we are going to get straight into the curling method. Um, I've rinsed out the mask and the conditioner. And now we're just going to get straight into curling my hair. And I will be doing a detailed curling, um, you know, technique so that you guys can see very clear uh, how I did the rollers, how I wrap my hair around the rollers. And yeah. you guys that you need to make sure that you are gripping your hair as tight as you can because you just know how natural hair is you know especially if you have shrinkage like I do just make sure that you're gripping your hair tight you know um, of course you know you want to detangle your hair first depends on the texture of your hair you may not have to do too much detangling and you're gonna take the roll and you're just gonna wrap it around you're not regularly 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 curling you're just wrapping it around the roller but you're kind of turning as you're rolling up to your roots in which i am about to show you now
am just gonna show you guys again how I curl or how I roll my hair. Oh my god, look at that comb. I'm sorry you guys, I am recording this and driving, so I'm kinda editing while I'm driving. So unsafe, do not do it. To me, after reviewing this, my hair looks mad dry. What you want to do is just make sure you keep your hair wet so that, you know, um, at least your hair be curled while it's drying. You don't want to be curling it and it's dry, so keep it wet. Um, and yeah, so I've already rolled up my hair most of it right here i'm just finishing up the rolling process and what i did was suck my brush into a cup of water i just kept a cup of water beside me because i know that my hair dries my hair tends to dry faster when it's out like that um so uh, i dip the brush into the water and just you know brush my hair and then roll it to kind of like had it a little wet sorry i was blowing at somebody i can't believe i just did that while i'm editing yo anyway now i'm getting under the dryer and this is me the next day really i was prepping for church uh i was that was early that morning i was tired you guys um what you want to make sure that you do is stay under the dryer for a minute if you have really thick thick hair then i'm just gonna let you know that you go your hair is gonna take a while to dry my hair took so long even here it wasn't finished drying even though i had sat under the dryer for an hour and then i slept on it i didn't sleep that long so make sure that you do it and you sleep like a full eight or more hours after sitting under the dryer or if you're gonna sleep on it just make sure that you sleep on it long and right here you can see that I removed the rollers you can kind of see where my curls aren't as tight as they should be because um you know my hair wasn't really finished drying so I will have another tutorial coming soon however those curls look pretty neat and tight for to say they were you know they didn't take a full day to dry and now right here i'm just pulling them apart you guys so that my hair can look more full and that the curls can look more full and all over my head so yeah and right here i'm just taking the pick and pulling my curls out because it kind of like makes your hair look more you know full more wide like it, it looks more full when it's like that but i forgot to mention that i also decided to use my can two products that's been sitting up and right here i'm just gonna use some eco styling gel just to get them edges together but yes i use the can two products to help with uh because i ran out of my shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie stuff <clears throat> so yeah um yeah enjoy this video uh thanks for watching and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel turn on those post notifications i will have a tutorial coming soon again because i kind of feel like my curls would have been more together if my hair would have been dry and that is the end of this guys this was the finishing look the when i got through pulling them apart you know um my I, I recommend that you guys just sit under the dryer let them dry more and kind of make sure that your rollers are together you know all neat and tight that way you wouldn't see too much of your roots being nappy so yeah thanks for watching guys make sure you guys like coming subscribe to the channel giveaway coming soon see you guys next time